Okay, we've received the new DSP block for the DSP Nexus 2x8 system. This is the ADSP 21569 DSP block. That's the upgrade from the original ADSP 21469. This is about twice the throughput of the original, so this should give everybody's system, if you're up in the 90% range, you should now be down in the 45% range or so. So we're going to do some checks to see. the original. I'll do a, uh, a before and after to see what we've got for throughput. Uh, originally, my block diagrams were running about 62%, and we'll see what the new one does after we load this up. So I'm going to go through pieces of how to take this apart, tools you need, and basically just the process. So you basically need a one, two millimeter uh, hex head, 11 millimeter socket, and a number zero Phillips head. And so basically the first thing you do is going to be remove the headphone jack with the 11 millimeter socket. And it's not in, I, I purposely made sure this one wasn't real tight. And what I typically do is I'll put all the parts in a little container so they don't go flying away when I'm doing other things. So now that we've got that out, second stage is going to be removing the four hex heads. So I'll come back after I start the process. Okay, so now we're going to use the hex head to remove the four screws in the front panel, which are there, there, here, and here. You do not really need to remove anything with the LCD display because that's all integral to that. So once you have the four screws off, the front panel should come off. And we'll go to that process now. Okay, the four screws are now out. I'm going to take off the front panel, basically just kind of slide it off and then rotate it down. You'll see that there's a ribbon cable that's connected to the LCD front panel. That's basically for all the communications with the IR remote control and for the microcontroller uh, talking to the DSP itself. So you can leave that attached. I'm going to now pull the cover off. Basically, it just slides out. Okay. And now you can see the interior of the unit. And so now I'm going to start the process. The DSP block is here. So if you remove this cable from the microcontroller front panel, which is this guy right here, you basically just kind of rock it back and forth. It's just a standard IDC style connector. Go slowly, and now the board is exposed. So now I'm going to go ahead and remove the screws from that board and start pulling it out. Okay, to make it a little easier, I'll remove the other end of the IDC cable. You can see it's now off the board, but it's attached right back to this. This one makes it a little easier to actually get to the connectors that are on this board so that you can actually pull it. And so basically, you're going to carefully rock this board back and forth with your fingers. It's a little hard to do with the camera, but if you do it slowly... You'll see this starts popping out. The longest connector is this side. And you just want to go real slow because you don't want to bend the pins. So if I got everything right here, there's the board. Okay, so now I'm going to get the other board ready. Okay, this is the new DSP block, the 21569. You see the long row of pins here and on the motherboard. That's what you're lining. Basically, you want to get the screw holes lined up so that you can see through them and basically then you start rocking it into position and so you want to do it very gently i'm going to try using both fingers here and you see it kind of slides in and basically stops so now the new dsp block is basically installed i'm going to install the idc connector it's, it's keyed so it only goes in where there's the key it only goes in one way, so that's back in. Now I'm going to re reattach the screws and then start the rebuild process. Okay, now if you can see the four screws are reinstalled in the board. The ribbon cable is back on, so now we're going to reverse the process. We're going to put the front, the top back on and then the front panel back on. Okay, so now the slots are basically right here. So you want to line up the slots on both sides, put the panel in and then slide it back. And there's a groove in the back that it all goes back into. So when you get it all right, you see it kind of slides into the slot. And now we can put the front panel back on. Okay, so now that the top is fully seated in the back, 
The front panel has also got the slots. You can see it extends out here. So the front panel, there's a slot in it too. So we're gonna put that on so that it sits into the slot. And you can feel it go in. Now it's gonna hold itself, so I'm just gonna put the screw, hex head screws back in it. Okay, so I start by finger tightening in the four bolts. Then we use the hex head wrench to tighten them back down. Then we'll put back on the headphone jack exterior piece. Okay, and last step for this will be all the four screws are just finger tight. You don't need to put any torque onto them. And now I use the 11 millimeter wrench to basically tighten on the headphone jack. And again, just do it finger tight. No need for forcing it. And now your unit's back together with the new DSP processor. So I'm going to power it up and we're going to check it out. Okay, now we're going to power up the unit, switch in the back. You'll see it go, and you want to press this button, and it'll start waking up the DSP. And your system's back up and running with the new DSP block. So that's the process to change out the 21469 DSP block for the 21569 DSP block. And so now, this unit would be what we would characterize as a full production unit with the AK4499EX DAC boards installed. That's it. That's all you need to do. Now it's ready to program. Take care. Bye-bye.